Next one is from Ken. Thank you for your YouTube beginner videos. You're so very, you're very welcome, Ken. Uh, I'm trying to draw up a, um, a color for a hundred year old Parker Weiss. Vice. I have a drawing of that that um, Ken supplied an image. I think it's absolutely awesome. There you see that. Now, so Ken's question is trying to positioning lettering is kind of hard. I'm trying to positioning it like a 22 by 22 and and when we're looking at this image um it's kind of hard to line it when we're looking at it like we can see here that the lettering it, it's kind of hard to um to align up um i don't know ken if i have the magic answer to you but i'll try <laughs> what i would do let's open a new file here um let's draw up a circle see for circle i would create a um I would actually create a construction circle that I would use. So here have a circle. Then I would create on that face, wherever you're going to place that, um, let's do it 150. Those letterings, I would have a circle that I'm just using to, to line it up. And then you could do, like you, I, I think you are on the right track with kind of creating some, uh, you know, some lines out in, in, different, um, in different angles. That I think is legit. So D for dimension, you could kind of starting your uh, your lettering. Um, but when it comes to the letters themselves, and then you could actually, you could put them all into one, um, into one sketch. So if I place here and I hit P, and then you get to, uh, you can spin it around and, and you're right, you can move it. You cannot, snap it into um when you're dragging this you can't snap into a point but what i would do was i would just zoom in because to be honest with you can when it comes to um when it comes to text like this it's really just if it looks straight it is straight good old uh Kim Resta saying i think um so you could place this point you can see how you kind of get a shadow but you can place this point close to that intersection and then look up here and and start playing with the angle and you you will see that it intimate with five degrees but you can't type in here so if i do minus uh 122 that's too much 121 that's still too much 120 that makes it a little open 0.5 that there looks like it's following pretty dang close that line i'm gonna hit enter to that so then we had the first P there. If you wanted to, um, maybe you will do the calculation. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but you could now go ahead and do another letter and just place that. And let's do the A, capital A. Um, and I personally, I would be playing around with this. So let's zoom in here, probably because this is flat, probably be more close to try to find the inside angle there and then do the same thing up here with the with the angle to say minus uh, 129 that point five that looks pretty close right there maybe hit okay to that maybe you had to you know you would have to play with the letters here but you can definitely do this um, and get it um, I have done this and, and you can disagree with me, but I feel like I have gotten pretty dang close to to something that I felt like uh, looked pretty pretty good. So again, going to, if you're zooming close, that's kind of on the circle, that is not. So mine is 135.5, no, uh, 0 0.7. 0.6, you get what I'm getting at? I'm kind of just lining everything up the, the best I can. Um, that's how I would do that, Ken. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe you wanted to play with this angle and the, 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 the lettering sizes. You can always go in and double click on the letter again here and you're back to where that was. So you can see that it remembered the angle over here, the placement, you can make the letter you know, bigger if you wanted to and, and adjust them and, and place them. So you can always come in and, 
and play with them like that. Um, Ken, was that useful? I hope that was useful. That's how I would do it. Like I said, I'm using the Jimmy D'Aresta uh, kind of thing that is like, um, you know, when it looks straight, it is straight kind of thing. 